Is the time for our final confrontation, Carter. Despite all you have witnessed, it is clear you have no intention, not even the will, to escape. In our previous interrogations, you vainly suggested that your physical reality was secondary to your dreams, merely another nightmare of your morbid imagination. We know that you use supernatural methods of inquiry. So tell me, how have you managed to visit these dream realities of yours? That's still your question. I thought you were omnipotent. My answer is the same now as it always has been. I'm not telling you! Face your reality, Carter. Here you remain, a prisoner on your own mortal coil. I have offered you so many chances, but you choose not to take them. Very well. It is true that I have my ways of knowing. I promise. The journey will not be pleasant. What is happening? Once more, you enter this place of desolation and ruin. Long have I watched you, your every waking and every passing. I sensed you from afar. Now, I will guide you through these tenebrious fields into the Tahoe. Welcome back, Carter Chalini. Remember your voice. Who are you? You discern my speech well this time. That's good. Comprehension comes when you are focused. Now, proceed. This place... This city was built eons ago by a race much more advanced than yours. Only a handful of your kind could reach this point, but not further. Continue on. Maybe you'll know more this time.
Behold the ongoing process of dissolution. When the time comes, these creatures devour everything, dead or alive, until there is nothing more. Proceed. Who are you? I am the last High Priest of the long-extinct Daryl race. Faded away eons ago, erased from the annals of time and space. You have reanimated my body, as you have many times before. We've met over and over again in different times, but Exactly the same place. Where am I? You are in Korwa, Cherish. Eons ago, my kind entered this region of transition, broke the bonds of a material existence, and built this place. Korwa, Cherish. Is perilously close to the heart of Zerom. This is no place for your kind to traverse. I suggest you go back. What just happened? My remains have been kept here for calling me from beyond to this semi physical plane of existence. You have reanimated my body. As you have many times before. I know you, Wayfarer. We've met over and over again. In different times, but exactly the same place. What is Tehom exactly? Far past the corrupting intrusions of matter and lesser forms of truth. Tehom is the space beyond life and death. Beings of lower planes can only, with their ignorant and brief glimpses, feel its existence. Only the more susceptible among them can understand what they see and thus yearn for it until their existence is exhausted. Their home is the final step before the incomprehensible metamorphosis takes its course. But this is something I am also yet to see. What did you call this? 
a semi-physical plane of existence. Yes, this is the next stage of evolution. A region of transition from corporeal to incorporeal. The last frontier of all material cosmos. I can remain here no more, for the consistency of this vessel is losing its integrity. Heed my words and return to your own waking reality, Wanderer. You cannot comprehend the implications this place has for your kind. Alice, wait for me. Where are you going? Place are safe with us. Fine, scan the body. Uh, 
an external sound recorder. I'd better check it out. As I predicted, the Scarab device is the key to the lower sections. Only a handful of their members have one. Some say there is a myth whispered among the elites. Too old to recall. I believe this story is related to opening the device. It goes like this. Out of the primal waters, first a pyramid emerged in the east. Then the scarab headed one. The one of the morning sun. But he, the primeval snake, lurks and waits in the darkest depths to hunt it down as it descends into the underworld from the west. His brain was fried. Someone probably hacked his neural implants, killed him remotely by overloading them. This isn't the work of an ordinary hacker. Something in his pocket. This thing looks like an electronic device of some sort. I wonder what it hides. Alice?
<laughs> the nightmares again. I thought I was over them. Scan environment for any abnormal activity. A digital neural study we've been developing together with Akeley for some time. It still has some problems to be addressed. She usually refrains from contacting us in this way. I better see what it's all about. being safely transferred to your desired floor. In case of an emergency, a medical bot will be dispatched to your current location. If a mechanical problem occurs, a service bot will be dispatched immediately. Attention, upon your arrival, please mind the gap between the elevator and floor platform. Scan environment for any abnormal activity. All the data's corrupt here.
Alice? Is she really dead? Fine. Scan Alice's body. no indication of physical abuse. According to her log, the, there was a remote cyber attack targeting her brain. But our fight implants were specifically designed to avoid such attempts. It seems it failed to do so. She has no external wounds or injuries on her body. Entry port. Fine. Scan Alice's bedroom for any abnormal activity. this? A backdoor connection to an external file? Better look around more before going any further.
no, no, fight, fight, cancel this operation. Carter, where exactly are you? I'm in the elevator, at the 26th floor, moving rapidly to the upper levels. Great. I've just created an artificial distortion at Sector 72, so Floor 42 should be quiet right now. You need to find the Biolab Number 4. I've provided you with the correct security clearance for that laboratory. Okay. Alice, wish me luck.